What's up guys, my name is Stu and I'd like to welcome you all back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing an AFL 23 rant. I believe this is part 7 of the AFL 23 rants and I'm not sure what number of rants I'm up to in the series. This is a different channel obviously but it's on this channel because it's a current topic that needs to be discussed and obviously I can't put it on my main channel. So basically a new update a few days ago came out on AFL 23. Now, it completely changed the gameplay, and it completely changed the way the game is played. It's like playing a completely different game. Not only that, they did uh, update the uh, rosters, team lists. The ratings are still absolutely fucked. They're probably even worse than what they were. But what else do you expect from being it, you know? But yeah, at least there's 2024 lists now. Um, look, they've completely ruined the game. The game is beyond repair. There's like three positives. Well, one of them is a slight positive. The other two, you can definitely say are positives. One positive is that the leaderboard glitch has been fixed, I believe. I mean, I played four online games and didn't have a problem with the leaderboard glitch. So that's been fixed, it looks like. Thank God. That's the only reason I came back for one day. Uh, I only came back, I played two uh, non-online games, and then I played four online games. I came back for four online games, and I'd had enough by then. The other thing is that handballs actually go to where you want it to go to. You can actually handball the ball properly now. You can do handball chains and all that, so that's good. That's an, another improvement, a very rare improvement in this update. The other improvement is that the rucking, there's no longer a bush advantage depending on what ruckman you're using online. And the taps actually go to where you tapped it to now, which is good, but there's a problem. And there now it's time for me to list off all the new fucking glitches in the game. The clearance glitch. Now, yes, you can tap the ball to where you actually want to tap it to now, but the problem is that the players run around randomly, like in the center circle, in the stoppage and all that. So by the time you actually tap it to a certain player, they've probably moved, you know, half the time it happens. Not every time, but about half the time they just randomly fucking move. And then the ball goes to the opposition. They get the clearance from it. Clearances have become way more impactful because the players lead now. They lead from the mark, meaning the forwards always have a massive advantage over the defenders and they're able to mark it a lot easier. So it makes center clearances very, very difficult to defend if you don't win the clearance. So that's the clearance glitch. Now there is another glitch called the distance glitch. So basically you have no control over how long your kick is. Now you could kick it short to a player, try and stab kick, you can't even stab kick it either. That's another glitch, the can't stab kick glitch. You could try and stab kick it to a player about 15 meters out, but away who's probably all by himself, but it'll end up going 30 meters away to a one-on-one -on -one contest. It doesn't affect me that much because I'm an absolute gun when it comes to the marking, but if you're not good at marking, you're screwed. And this would anger you even more. If you try and kick it long, you know, maybe you try and kick it 50 meters, it might go 20 fucking meters. That's another thing that pissed me off. And because my game style that made me so successful uh, was to bomb it long down the middle, you know, gain heaps of territory. And I can't fucking do that anymore because sometimes when I torp it, it goes like 15 meters and causes turnovers and shit. Sometimes it'll go 50, sometimes it'll go fucking 15 meters. That did my fucking head in. And then there's the torpedo glitch. I'll, I'll tell you guys why I think this is a massive uh, change in a minute, but you guys know that my main source of dominance was how well I executed the torps. You know, kicking torp goals from 60 meters out. If you guys see my gameplays, you will see most of my goals come from that source. Not only that, but even if I'm 20 meters out, I would kick torps because it's just quicker. Like, it's literally quicker to kick torps. So I would kick torps and I was really good at executing it. Like no one was as good as me. Most people just couldn't do it. Like only maybe 10% of people could execute 
the 65 or so meter torps regularly, but I was the best at it. Like I'm the only reason other people tried it because of how effective it was. I rarely would lose matches because of it. I would have rage quit so often in the first quarter, it was insane, which is why my XP uh, is slower to gain, which is why you see people with way less wins above me on the fucking leaderboard. It's bullshit. I'm clearly the best player if you look at the win-loss ratio and the percentage. And I know Astro has cheated to get his percentage, but we'll talk about that in a minute. They've basically eliminated torpedoes completely. I learned that before I even went online because I I heard that they, fi they got rid of torpedoes. I was like, you cannot be serious. I just could not do it. You know, you don't even have the golf sticks to aim into them anymore. Plus, it's way slower, and it just goes out on the full. You've only got, like, one stick, and even if you hit it on that stick, it just goes out on the full. It doesn't matter how what the distance is. So, yeah, and people claimed it was a glitch that I was doing, kicking torpedoes. No, it's not a glitch. It's a fucking skill. If you can't do it, then you're not as skilled as me. Like, it's a skill, not a glitch. If it was a glitch, people would be able to do it all the time. But now, thanks to you dickheads complaining because I'm so fucking good, now that's been brought out of the game. I believe there's a certain person from Big Ant who, I believe, took the torpedoes out just to piss me off. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Another glitch is the holding the ball glitch is worse than ever. You know, just the amount of bullshit holding the balls there is seems to happen to me all the time. When you clearly kick the ball and then it just gets caught holding the ball. You know, that's another bullshit glitch that's gotten worse. And the next glitch, uh, have I talked about the marking glitch? I don't know, but the marking glitch, you know, you time it perfectly and it doesn't give you the mark. I'm still winning 80% of marking the same marking contest I normally would have beforehand, but I'm definitely not winning it as much, even though, you know, I'm still timing it. Exactly right. Like, I haven't lost my mojo at all at the game. Like, I'm still good at everything I was good at. It's this shit that's been taken away that has fucked me over. The last glitch is the camera angle glitch. Now, there's this weird glitch, right, when you take a mark and then the camera angle just randomly changes. Some weird camera angle and it always causes you to kick it out in the full. Causes you to fuck up your kicks. It always happens as you're fucking kicking it. That did my fucking head in. That glitch is a glitch that needs to be eliminated from the game. It's one of the worst fucking glitches in the game. Big Ant have added that from their latest update. So basically, I am fucking done with AFL 23. Because they basically changed the game to counter me pretty much. I can't do fucking torps. You know, my game plan, right, is literally I dominate in the air. I'm very, very good at the marks. And as a result, I bomb it down the middle because I know I'm going to mark the ball. I'm going to outmark my opponent 80% of the time at least. So I bomb it down the middle, I win territory. And once it gets within 60 meters, I can just kick a torpedo for a goal. And I would kick the goals a lot of the time. You know, sometimes I would miss them, you know, as we all miss sometimes. But I would kick the goals most of the time. And that would cause me to absolutely dominate, you know. I've scored some massive scores on AFL 23 as a result. And every game that I've played since this update, they've all been low scoring as shit. So I can still mark, but that's basically it. My The rest of my game plan is completely out of the window. I cannot play my game at all. And the way, the way they've changed it, it's not fun. Like everyone has to play the same way. Everyone has to play just this chip kick sort of game. Kick mark game. That's all it is. You can't torp. There's nothing else you can do anymore. And that causes, you know, there's not much skill. So basically, most of the games are going to be close. So that brings all the garbage players back into games against players like me. Now, they definitely did this to counter me. Now, you guys, anyone who's been a follower of my channel for a while, um, know my beef with Ross Simons. So Ross Simons, I believe, um, did this just to counter me. So basically... I'm suspicious of this because just before the update came out, I went on the Big Ant Studios Twitter. I was already blocked from Ross Simon's personal Twitter, but I wasn't blocked from the Big Ant Studios Twitter. I went on the Big Ant Studios Twitter just to see like when the next updates were coming out. And then probably two, three days later, when the updates were coming out, 
Before I went on the game, I decided I'm going to go on the Twitter to see if they mention what exactly has been updated, because I wasn't sure exactly what it was. I went to go on there, I was fucking blocked. So that was extremely suspicious from the start. It's almost as if Ross knew I was going to do a rant on his shitty game. Or maybe he realized, shit, I fucked up. He's going to rant on me, going to expose me again. I should block him on Twitter because that will somehow stop me. Guess what, Ross? It hasn't. And honestly, I stopped playing this game in September because of the leaderboard glitch. I didn't play for six months. I've only been back one day. I played four online games. I lost the first two, believe it or not. Both times were by under a goal to complete nobodies, you know, and both times I was actually robbed for the goal kicking glitch. Oh, I forgot to mention the kick for goal on the run glitch is all is back big time, and it's almost impossible to kick goals on the run, and like especially when you're super close to goals. I missed a goal from the goal square because of that glitch in one of the games, which would have won me the game. Like. Th- 40 or so seconds to go, and the fuckwit I was versing just went ahead and wasted um, time and exploited, you know, the lead glitch. That's what he did. So, wasted the rest of the time, so I wouldn't be able to have a chance of winning again. Leary happened both games. I was not happy. I played another game. Um, The gameplay you guys are seeing will be the two games that I won. I don't know if I'll do both of them, but the last game, I won with a kick after the siren. So... (laughs) At least that's something. At least it's this bullshit is bringing in thrillers, I guess. But the guy that I beat, I have actually destroyed before the updates. So he should not be within a kick of me. I started to break even for the day, two and two. And I'm like, nah, I'm off. I'm done with this fucking game. Unless he decides to bring back Torps or fix the distance glitch at least. Then I'm not coming back. It's lich. Everyone plays the fucking same. Literally, everyone plays the same. Like, there's only one way you can possibly play the game because of this new update. And it's boring as fuck. It's shit. It makes low-scoring games. Yes, it makes close games because the trash players are able to compete with the elite players. But yeah, the game's fucked. I'm done. And yeah, that's basically it. Ross Simons can go fuck himself. I won't be buying another... Big Ant Studios game ever. I don't care if it costs me views. But fuck it. All their games are shit ass. <laughs> you know, what a disaster AFL 23 was at release. It's always been a disaster, really. It's an even bigger disaster now than what it was six months ago. Not only that, the fucking management mode crashes. You can't play management mode. So, good job, Ross Simons. Good job, you fucking idiot. If the AFL had any fucking idea, they would take the license off of Big Ant immediately. At least give it back to Wicked Witch. Wicked Witch can at least make playable games, even though their games aren't that great. At least they're playable and fun. But (laughs) Big Ant is just a disaster. I mean, even if they can find another developer that's better than Wicked Witch, I'd be very happy with that. I don't give a shit about the game anymore. It's old. Uh, no one really gives a shit about it other than, I guess, fucking Astro. He can have rank one if he fucking wants. I don't give a shit. If I gave a shit, I wouldn't have stopped playing uh, back in September. I didn't think anyone would actually be playing over the off-season, but fucking apparently Astro has been playing non-stop throughout the off-season. Not only that, he's actually been cheating as well using another uh, PlayStation or possibly a PC or whatever on an alt to boost his XP slash percentage. There's no way he's gotten that many points or that high of a percentage with that amount of wins and loss. I'm someone who destroyed opponents, got massive scores, and apparently he's done better than that with way more losses. Yeah, it's clear fucking cheating. But yeah, I didn't have to cheat to get to number one. I guess he has to, but yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment for more like this. Be sure to subscribe to my main channel, Studi. Link to that is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe to my second YouTube channel. It is called Studi Archives. Also, be sure to join my Discord server. It is called Australian Sports Community. Link to that is in the About page of my main channel. Also, be sure to follow me on my other social media accounts. I have Instagram. I have Twitter. And I also have TikTok. The username for all those is StudiYT.
and you're gonna have to search that up in the search bars because this shitty website would not let me put links in the description on this channel. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you all in the next video.